That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my freaking life, dude. Are you kidding me? Hello gals, blokes, and all other folks, my name is Mortius, and today we are here with more Epic the Musical, now here with the Cyclops Saga. I am so, so excited for this. The Epic the Musical craze has been the wildest thing that's happened to my channel in quite some time. The support that all of you have given me, these videos taking off in views, new subscribers, new supporters, new commenters has been absolutely amazing. You guys push me over 20,000 subscribers just in time for my birthday. The support that I've received and honestly, shout out to you guys because normally when I branch into a new community, that's going to get a lot of new eyes. That's going to often increase things like hate comments and criticism and things like that. I haven't gotten much of that from Epic the Musical. You guys, for a brand new community to my channel, have been nothing but supportive, and it has meant so very much to me. I have been so obsessed. I've re-watched and re-listened to the Troy Saga multiple times. I just shared it with my wife last night. She's getting into it now. This is my new thing, 100%, and I'm so excited to check out the Cyclops Saga. Now, you guys left me hundreds and hundreds of comments across those last two videos, and it seems like, from all them I read, and by the way, I read every single comment, so if you read a comment, I promise I'm going to read it. That's a big thing of mine, even if it takes me a while to catch up, I read every single comment on my channel. It seems like Merxy and Wolfie the Witch are the standout animators for the Cyclops Saga. Now, there's a little bit of back and forth on who should be which one, for various different reasons, I made the executive decision to do Merxy for the first two, which is going to be this video, and then Wolfie for the second video, uh, which is going, or for the next two songs, for songs three and four, which is going to be next video coming out a week from today. However, I still really want to check out the other animators' interpretations of them, which leads me to my Patreon. Now, before you click off, don't you do it, don't click off, because there is a way you can benefit from the Patreon for completely free. So please still give a listen to this. Over on my Patreon, at the a Deity tier and higher, I give the opportunity for people to get the unedited version of my videos, just the raw footage. And that means that you get it the moment that I finish recording it, those tiers get it. So right now, it is March 7th, it is the day after my second Epic the Musical one went up, and patrons at the a Deity tier and higher are already getting my reaction to the entire Cyclops saga. In addition to that, they are now going to be getting an exclusive reaction because as soon as I finish reacting to Merxy's versions of Polyphemus and Survive, I will also be reacting to Wolfie's version of those two, and that is not going to make it to the YouTube, that is just going to end up on the Patreon. However... That tier, I have enabled a seven day free trial. So even if you are not interested in, or not able to support financially, you are still able to go check out those alternate animations. As soon as you see this video, it will be up for both this video and the second half of the Cyclops Saga, the animatics that are making it to YouTube, and also the other animatics that are going to remain Patreon exclusive. So you get that access completely for free at a seven day trial. Of course, if you do want to support, that is greatly appreciated. Uh, because of YouTube copyright rules, Epic the Musical falls under um, copyright sharing, which means I am not able to fully monetize these videos. That is completely fine by me. I think that Jay absolutely deserves the revenue for his art. I'm not complaining about that. But it does mean that this is a lot of time and energy that I am putting into these Epic the Musical videos. And I'm getting like... 10 bucks per video, even though it's getting more views than most of my content because the revenue sharing is not kind to creators. So if you do want to support financially and allow me to do more things like this, that would be really appreciated. And, you know, just in case it makes a difference, the day this video goes up, March 13th, is the day before my birthday. My birthday is March 14th, I'm a pie baby, so just in case you wanna hop over to that Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Mortius, you will be able to 
support me if you want to give me a little bit of a birthday gift to support the channel financially but even if you cannot support financially still enable that seven day free trial and you will be able to see my reactions to both the animatics i'm putting on youtube and the other interpretation of those same songs i really hope you consider checking it out either as a free or paid member that was a lot of promotion there, but I kind of wanted to get through all of that, so I'm not going to talk for too much longer. And without any further ado, we are going to hop on in to Merxie's animatic of Polyphemus, the first song on the Cyclops saga. Here we go! Over here! Look at all this food! Look at all these sheep. Okay, now you might as might remember from my last video that I am not super intimately familiar with the story of the Odyssey. However, I am still familiar vaguely with certain events that happened during it um, through just secondhand stories I've heard and also while I'm not trying to claim this at all gives me real knowledge on it, I also know what parts of mythology were interpreted into my favorite book series of all time, Percy Jackson. So, all of these things combined, I'm looking at all these sheep, looking at the name of the song, and I'm like, oh, those don't belong to you, my sweet baby boy, my favorite character, my sweet little sunshine man. Please be very careful. Those are not your sheep, and there is going to be a very big person very upset at you for being near them. Oh. All this food. Look at all these sheep. I can't believe this cave has all this for us to keep. And not for you, my boy! I gotta hand it to you both. This is quite the treat. Oh, shoot. I completely don't remember his name. Who's the trio? It's Odysseus, Polites... I don't know. Mason, tell, them the, pe tell the people the name. If they're watching this, they probably know the name. Tell them anyway. <laughs> there are enough sheep here to feed the entire fleet. That's a lot of sheep. It's almost too perfect. Correct. Too good to be true. Why would the Lotus Cedars pass up on all this food? What did I miss? Since when are Cyclops eldritch horror beings? I thought they were just big old, big old dudes. Big old, like, everyday bobs, but big in one eye instead of two. What is this tendril hand, cult of the lamb horn, eldritch horror face dude? That's horrifying! This is a full on eldritch horror. What is. We're yep. just travelers. Hooves? We come in peace. Is this actually accurate to... How much of this is Merxy and how much of this is just me not knowing how Cyclops work, apparently? What is hap... Okay, I need to just let it play, but I'm just so baffled by this interpretation of the Cyclops. We're just travelers. Come in peace. Killed his. You don't. That you doesn't. You killed my sheep. My favorite sheep. What gives you the right to deal the pain so deep? Don't you know that pain you sow is pain you reap? Time to drink your blood of a your life now is in my hand Before I'm done You will learn that it's not so fun to take You came to my Listen to this underlying that just 
kind of happening in the like underneath there it's so like foreboding that the the background music of his entrance is fits the fear and magnitude of the situation so very well my home to steal, but now you become my meal, a trade you see, take from you like you do. I don't like that! Oh my god! That's horrifying! Look from me. There's been a misunderstanding, we never came here to steal, but now that I see we- How cool is it that, listen to the, like, from you like you took from me. His voice is obviously very distorted, but the music also becomes distorted at that point. And then as soon as it switches back to Odysseus, the distortion drops off of the background instruments. That's really interesting. A trade you see, take from you like you took from me. There's been a misunderstanding. And we get to a little bit we higher, but we still have the drums. Steal, but now that I see we've done some damage, maybe you and I can make a deal. I'll give you our finest treasure, so long as we live alive. You can keep the world's best tasting wine. Wine? Have our drink, one sip and you'll understand the power that's in your hand. Is that Lotus? Did he take Lo- I see, this is part of the story that I do not know. Pretty, like, I mentioned earlier that I know a little bit of the concepts behind the Polyphemus story, just from secondhand info and other interpretations like Percy Jackson. Really, the only big thing I know, though, is that the, like, who are you? Nobody. Like, that whole joke- or, like, I don't know if joke's the right word, but just that whole, like, bit, that whole thing comes from the Odyssey, I'm, like, 99% sure. But this, if he's, like, offering the Lotus, that's fascinating. Hold Wasting on. Wine. Wine. Have a drink. One sip and you'll understand the power that's in your hands. A wine so fresh, you'd never want to eat human flesh again. Shall be on our way. No bloodshed in here today. A trade you see, a gift from you and a gift from me. Interesting. Oh, I'd like to thank you. Okay. Stranger, what's your name? Nobody. My name is Nobody. There we go. Okay, that's the only part I know. Good play, good play, good play. My name is Nobody. Okay, 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 okay. That was so stressful. I have so, so much anxiety in me. Thank you. Stranger, what's your name? His voice is so cool. My name is Nobody. Nobody. God, his falsetto! For your gift, I've won to reply. I'm so glad we see eye to eye. Yes, you shall be the final man to die. What? Watch out! Right now, you can get a- Okay, so the subway, get out of here. So the deal being only Odysseus dies? Is that what I'm understanding from that? Like the concept? Okay, actually, now that the ad is gone, I muted it so the ad will go. So glad we see eye to eye. Really puts the scale in the episode. You shall be the final. You shall be the final man to die. So, oh, I wonder if the idea is one to one. Like, I was going to kill all of you out of rage, but now that we've come to a misunderstanding, I only take one life in exchange for the one sheep. So that way it becomes more equal. Maybe are the vibes being gone for? And then the next, 
Next is survive, right? Oh no, because some of you, some of you looky loos in the comments who who can't keep things to yourself are saying that I'm not ready for survive, and everyone's being like, oh, he, oh no, based on everything he's saying, he's not ready for survive, and I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean I'm not ready for survive? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence in, um, Jennifer Lawrence and Hot Ones. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? mean? <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Am terrified for what comes next. What a place for that song to end. That was super cool. The distortion effects existing on Polyphemus's voice were super duper good. That was absolutely incredible. Definitely, like, the, again, the eldritch horror aspect of the Cyclops. You guys will definitely have to tell me if that has basis in Greek mythology or if that's purely Merxie's interpretation of it. Because either way, wow, absolutely crazy, super cool. I don't have too much to say. That very clearly was designed to lead straight from one into the other, so I'm not even going to delay much. We're just going to hop right in to survive. Merxy, what do you mean content warning gore and flash? What, what do you mean? mean content warning gore and flash? I swear to God, I'm saying this right now. If something happens to my boy Polities, if something happens to my sunshine boy, my best boy Polities, we're gonna have a talk, Jay. Mr. Jalapeno, as I've been told you're called by the community. Someone in the comments also needs to explain that one to me. Everyone's just like, Mr. Jalapeno is so talented. You can call him Mr. Jalapeno. What do you mean? I already know my two names. There's Jorge Rivera Herens, but I also know that he goes by Jay on a lot of social media and things like that. And now you guys are throwing Jalapeno into the mix? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm delaying the inevitable because I'm terrified. <sighs> I don't want to press play. Already horrifying. Just that start. It starts so fast. What's those background vocals? Those just chants that like, like whatever's happening. I can't tell if it's actual words or not, but. If those are supposed to be words, someone's got to let me know in the comments. I can't quite make them out, but fascinating. of our fleet they wait at the beach and if we're defeated they're good as dead straight ahead that is who we're fighting no backup no chance for support so draw out your sword our foe must be thwarted right here and now show me how great is your will to survive Six okay oh wait hold on hold on how Actually, no, no, no. We'll get to that. I do want to talk a little. So, uh, they only brought, like, what, a dozen, a couple dozen people into the cave. Obviously, if they all die, then, okay, that makes sense. Fascinating. Okay, okay. Okay. That's so interesting. And then we're about to get a little callback with... Survive! 600 lives at stake. It's just one life. How dare you? How dare you, Merxy? How actually dare you hit me with the it's just one life to take and flash back to the infant? Oh my god. What a double callback. 600, 600 the calling back to the 600 men from um full speed ahead. Ooh, and then calling back to the one life to take showing that he's not afraid. To take the life, take a life he needs to take. Oh my God! I'm so. Great is your will to survive. Six hundred lives at stake. Oh. It's just one life to take. Stop that. And, when we give and the blink and effect. Our journey's over. No dying on me now. Defeat is not allowed. We must live through this day. So. 
Why does it keep showing polities like that? Is he not gonna fight? Is he like, is he a pacifist? He can't be a pacifist. He's with the Trojan warriors. Like, what do you? I'm so stressed out. We must live through this day, so fight, fight, fight. Polities, what are you doing, dude? in mind and stay in his blind spot and strike his heels how are you striking the heels if they're cloven exhaust him don't let him get close he's strong but he's slow he can't land a blow if we're out of reach find a breach stand up and fight for your lives i love the I, every time I pause, it goes back to that 600 motif and I lose my mind. I love the way there's the call and response from Odysseus and his men. I don't love the way my hair keeps refusing to listen to me and stay in its headphones. That's so cool. And then hitting us with the 600 lives, the lotus creature the ever, like. Out of reach, find a breach, stand up and fight for your life. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my freaking life, dude. Are you kidding me? <gasps> that was so good. Wait, the the absolute muse oh, excuse me, the absolute musical majesty of Jorge hitting us with that high belt under those low chants, but then the sort of inherent skill of Merxy to do a jump and slow-mo suspension on the belt is perfect. Oh Dude, that's so cool. Okay. Polities, what are you doing, man? Captain. Enough. He's got a club. He's got a club! What are our orders? Captain. Oh my god, is he getting sick from what he's- me enough. 600 lives I'll take. 600 lives I'll break. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Baby. Come comfort me. <laughs> Come comfort me, puppy. Oh my gosh. The musical cues supported by the animation there. I know. Can you believe it, Kara? Can you believe that they did that? And the fact that he was so... The fact that he was so shaken by the loss of polities that he just stands there, literally f becoming physically sick while he watches the rest of his men die, eviscerated, blood on his face, Kara. I'm so glad you can't understand English or I would be traumatizing you right now. I'll let you get back to sleep. Oh my god, normally I would want to rewind. I don't even want to rewatch that. <laughs> I, I truly 
don't want to rewatch that. I'm going to, because I want to make sure I pick up on all the musical cues, since that's actually what my job is on this channel. But I don't want to. God, I have to go back so far. Okay. God, I don't want to watch this again. I'm, I'm going to, like, close my eyes, and I'm just going to listen to the music. I can't not. The fact that all of it just echoes out like that, like it's the there's like a little bit of electric guitar in there happening too. It feels like such a warrior's theme. Like they are absolutely, they Jorge is absolutely just musically building this to be a hero's moment. Like everything about the structure of the music, the electric guitar, the build is everything that like we've almost subconsciously learned from like superhero movies and things like that. Like that's leading up to think about like when the electric guitar hits, when Iron Man comes out or so, you know what I mean? Like just the style, the choice of instrumentation and the way he structures the build and the style of the musical structure itself, everything like that is building towards the moment where the heroes win and then it stops and you hear the thud. Even the music itself is telling you we're about to win. And then all of that music, gone. God, my heart hurts. Captain. Enough. He's got a club! And he's not even, he's like not even registering Captain. the rest of his men dying. Captain. And the low, the low somber strings, like, oh. You've heard me now. Those low strings are so like Game of Thrones. Yeah, I almost wonder if that's intentional because Game of Thrones is so like, or at least before they ruined the ending, is so ubiquitously known for being the like, don't get attached to characters, they're just going to die show. I almost wonder if whether consciously or subconsciously, Jorge bringing in those really low string instruments there is almost an homage to the Game of Thrones soundtrack a little bit because this is like... This is, this is our, this is our Red Wedding, you know? Not quite to the same extent as not, well, I mean, it is almost as many people, just not as many named, like, I'm losing my mind, I'm rambling. It's cause I don't want to continue, I think. <laughs> Speaking of subconsciously, and the sick on his hands. Did the other one go out to- what? What just happened? What just happened? Stop it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop that right now. No, 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 no. What happened? Hold on. So, in that moment, did he hit the other- I can't remember his name and now I feel awful if he's dead. But so it seems like he hit- the not polities right hand man, but then something happens to Polyphemus. Oh, that was emotionally exhausting. Good God. Well, oh, and I'm gonna have to rewatch it again because of what I said in the intro. As a reminder to those of you who skipped the intro, before I get into the second half of the Cyclops saga, I am actually going to be watching through um, the... 
I'm going to be watching through the secondary animations for these in the same recording for the people over on Patreon. So if you want to go support, uh, I'm not going to say the whole thing again because I'm emotionally exhausted after that and I need to save my strength for the rest of this recording. But Mason, tell them what timestamp in the intro to jump to if they want info on the Patreon, including how to get access to these additional animatic reactions for free. <sighs> That's exhausting. Okay, I am going to go ahead and go check those out now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the support you've shown the channel with the Epic the Musical reactions. <sighs> Good lord. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get through this. Thank you to my patrons for making videos like this possible. Thank you to all you support. And as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I will see you in the next video. Bye. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs>